Here we go. Today's finds. We got uh, 89 coins, 13.02. Got a couple little pieces of jewelry. I still got to clean up. Throw that in the next little clip here in just a few. Uh, not too bad. 30, 37 quarters, I think. All we did was went to Modern Parks. That was it. So this will be the results of the second trip. I uh, went to a park, city park, and uh, got tired there and went on out to a uh, to a little league I've been to before. Ended up with uh, 1097 clad and 71 coins. Uh, the last time I picked up a couple little pieces of jewelry. Got a junk smash ring. Had a little silver plated heart. Uh, my daughter swiped that and it's gone. So uh, there's hunt number two. Okay, hunt number three for the week. It's been real dry around here. Ground's hard as a concrete. So, uh, we tried to go somewhere just to pick up some surface finds. Went to, uh, my daughter went to a little league. And not too much there. Then we stopped by a picnic ground where they recently had a picnic. I think the total off this hunt in about two and a half hours. Uh, 555 and 36 coins. Uh, well, we got 565 and 37 coins. Did find a 68, 50% uh, Canadian, 50% silver, so that wasn't too bad. Usually the public places around here where I go are just, you know, if you're going to find silver, it's going to be in the form of jewelry. So, uh, maybe it was something to do for a couple hours. Right, here's the fourth hunt of the week, uh, which was yesterday. Ended up going to a 1920s home site and out to another picnic ground. Total on clad for the day was 1377 and 93 coins. Did pick up a few more interesting items. Hold on just a second, I'll gather those up. These are and all the good ones came from the about home 88 site. degrees hunting this old 1920s house. Buddy Steve got the AT Pro out. Popping a little religious medallion. Mark Sterling. Good to go. So with the uh, 1920s house, I found a total of uh, two Wheaties. No silver. Brother-in-law came with me. He used my uh, AT Pro. He's only been out a few times. Um, he ended up coming up with a... Uh, I think he had about five dollars in clad, so together we had almost twenty bucks. And uh, he came up with this uh, Seagram's token, uh, eighty years of leadership. This was uh, put out in uh, 1937. In my opinion, he had the better day, actually. Then he also came up with a uh, religious pendant, Mark Sterling on the back. You see it right there on the left. So, hey, he had a great day for only his fourth or fifth time out. Now, one thing that I did come up with, and I don't even have a clue what this is, but from all the info that I could find online, this is some kind of a gaming piece that was uh, from the mid to late uh, 19th century. So, uh, assuming they were uh, calculating their centuries right at 1850, 1890. Uh, I don't uh, I don't see that but uh, never know if anybody has any more info on that just uh, just let me know got one more piece to show you you got a bullet thing you got <clears throat> Steve also found this I have no clue what this thing is it has a lot of weight to it flat on the end no markings on the other end he's just curious if anybody has any info on that just uh, send me a message that's it I think in uh, five dollars in clad and he got the silver hey he had the best day of all